It doesn't. And interestingly, it doesn't even just target the fat cell. It will target all cells that have the receptor. And our skin cells have the same photoreceptor as it's referred to. The fat cells have the photoreceptor. It's essentially how the cell utilizes the stimulation. So Xerona stimulates this little photoreceptor. That then induces or stimulates a secondary reaction in the cell. And depending on the cell structure, it'll use that secondary reaction differently. For instance, skin cells will replicate, so we'll get a thickening of the skin, which is beneficial for wrinkles and other uh, dermatological uses. Tightening. Tightening, good exactly. Appearance. Skin contracture. We've seen this with our clients. Absolutely. And so, essentially what happens is we're stimulating this receptor, and all that happens is we're increasing the amount of energy within the cell. Now the fat cell, because of the burst of energy, it creates these transitory pores. But that response is actually just unique to the fat cell. So other cells that are in the area, which adipose tissue is an abundance of other tissues, not just fat cells, and the adipose is the layer of fat, but inside are other cells, it'll utilize the energy differently to beneficial effects, where fibroblasts, another unique cell in adipose, that grows and proliferates and releases very beneficial growth factors to help with blood flow, circulation, and oxygen concentration. So we have no harmful effect with the adjacent cells in the area, just actually benefit. And that's supported by 40 years of low-level laser therapy history. And so we can utilize this rich volume of research to support the safety of Serona.